Welcome to F12 MJD News Updates. Greetings to you, dear friends of Malacca Johor Diocese. A blessed Chinese New Year greetings to all of you out there. Reunions are lovely moments for families together. Yet there are the lonely, the neglected, the aged, and those who have lost loved ones. Have a thought for them. The pardon was given. Discounts are easily given for traffic offences and PTPT and loans. And now the latest is discounted prison terms. The Pope said that attacks against Jews overseas had been on the rise. E-hailing has forced thousands of cabs and taxis to desert the country. Accounting Times The Pardon Board grants discount. One wanted full pardon. Others say no to any pardon. Another is facing sedition charges for questioning on the Facebook. The Communications Minister wants critics to be ready for reprimand. The people are holding the decision makers and offenders accountable. When you are personally accountable, you take ownership of what happens as a result of your choices and actions. You don't blame others or make excuses and you do what you can to make amends when things go wrong. To become more accountable, Make sure that you are clear about your roles and responsibilities. It is wrong and immoral to seek to escape the consequences of one's acts, says Mahatma Gandhi. Thought for the week. The movie Casualties of War tells the true story of a squad of soldiers which fought in the Vietnam War while there, they both saw and participated in some terrible crimes. One of their crimes was to, ad to abduct and rape a young Vietnamese girl. A private addiction, a soldier who is part of the squad, but didn't join in the abduction and rape. As he struggles with what has happened, he says to the other men in his squad, just because each of us might might at any second be blown away, we are acting like we can do anything we want as though it doesn't matter what we do. The lesson from the private, I am thinking is just the opposite. Because we might be dead in the next split second, maybe we got to be extra careful what we do. Because maybe it matters more, maybe it matters more than we ever know. Announcements for this week. One, we need you young people and skilled leaders. Join the youth office, social communication ministry, Mission Pastoral Institute, or Caritas Malacca Diocese office as volunteers, interns, and pastoral workers. Two, Monfort Youth Centre offers you young people aged 16 to 19 and physically challenged studies in culinary arts which touches on pastry arts, food and beverage service and barista. Contact Pauline or download the form available on the website. 3. The English Marriage Preparation Weekend Plan for the 15th to the 17th of March is closed. You can register for the next one, scheduled for the 21st to the 23rd of June at Majuri Centre. For the Malacca Johor Diocese Special Needs Parents Ministry is calling all parents of special needs children, whether English or Bahasa Malaysia, for a gathering at MPI Majuri Centre on the 17th of February at 3 p.m. Contact Das or Veronica for more info. 5. The Diocese and Family Life Ministry of Malacca Johor Diocese is organizing a Zoom session 
on talking about sexuality to youths and children today happening on the 3rd of March at 8 p.m. Look out for the poster for more info. This week's Q&Q, Q asks, Can there be a vocation without true devotion? The bee collects honey from flowers in such a way as to do the least damage or destruction to them and he leaves them whole, undamaged and fresh just as he found them. True devotion does still better. Not only does it not injure any sort of calling or occupation, it embellishes and enhances it. Moreover, just as every sort of gem cast in honey becomes brighter and more sparkling, each according to its color, so each person becomes more acceptable and fitting in his own vocation when he sets his vocation in the context of devotion. Through devotion, your family cares become more peaceful. Mutual love between husband and wife becomes more sincere. The service we owe to the prince becomes more faithful. And our work, no matter what it is, becomes more pleasant and agreeable. Wishing you all a grace-filled dragon year. May good health and strength be with you always. The wood dragon symbolizes humanity's aspiration to achieve, progress, grow and develop. Finish strong in the Holy Spirit. Just to tickle you, exercise daily by walking with the Lord. God bless you all.